everyone. A very good evening and welcome to this uh, live session by Talent Sprint. So in this session, we are going to be looking at uh, reasoning ability section for the SBI mains examination that is coming up. So all the sessions that we are doing nowadays are for the SBI mains examination. So all those of you who are uh, writing the mains examination, please do make use of these sessions to the maximum. Uh, so all the questions in the session, it will be really helpful for you uh, with your preparation. When it comes to reasoning ability section, in the mains examination, you can expect questions on puzzles, arrangements, then code, uh, coded inequalities, at times coding, decoding. Uh, so these are the common topics that come, uh, sometimes questions on critical reasoning. And arrangements and puzzles are is one uh, topic in reasoning ability section which you cannot do away with. Definitely you will have questions from that. So try to practice as many arrangements or puzzles as possible. Uh, if you, uh, it's see, uh, the best way to be able, like a lot of times students ask me, how do I uh, improve myself uh, while solving puzzles or arrangement? I always get stuck. The only way in which you can improve or try to get these questions correct is by practicing as many questions as possible. As in, as you practice more and more arrangements or puzzles, you will start getting better at it. And you can see that for yourself when you actually start practicing. Okay, Try advanced level questions and um, it will definitely help you when you write the actual examination. Okay, Let's start. Let's look at the first question for the session. Let me share my screen. The first question for the session is there on your screen. That's the first question. What is given here? In a certain code language, straight is written as follows. How is position written in that code language? What will be the answer here? Give me the answer. You, you have to give me the answer for this question for in less than 10 seconds. It's an easy one. What's given here? Straight. In a certain code language, straight is written as A R T S T H G I. See, what's happening? From here, right? This first four letters they are written in reverse first four letter are written in reverse and you get ARTS similarly last four letter is written in reverse and you get THGI so that's how you have got the code so similarly for position how will you write the code position write this in reverse ISOP write this in reverse NOIT so that should be your answer ISOP and no IT. What is the what is the option here? Correct answer option is option two. Okay, some of you have given me the answer as option one. Please note it is option two. ISOP and no IT. Good. So let's get let's move on to the next question. See, don't make mistakes in such easy questions. These questions you have to get it correct. So we will move on to a puzzle now. Okay, so here this is an uh, basically a floor puzzle. So you are given uh, there are nine people as given in the question who stay in a building uh, each person lives on a floor and every floor has two types of houses 2 BHK or 3 BHK four of them live in 3 BHK while the remaining people live in 2 BHK all of them belong to different cities as follows and each of them like different colors so uh, what are the variables involved here the floor number the name of the person the 2 BHK or 3 BHK which city they belong to and which color they like. Totally five variables are involved which you have to arrange and get the final answer. Okay, so take the next one or two minutes. Okay, let's take, let's, I'll give you three minutes because this is a little uh, longer puzzle, right? So take the next uh, two, three minutes, solve the question, try to get the arrangement. Okay, don't wait till I start solving. Unless you try it out on your own, there will be no learning uh, in the session. So try it out on your own, even if you make a mistake, it's fine. We are only practicing here. So at least you will learn from your mistakes when we solve it together. So try the question. In examination, ideally, if you have questions with um, less than four variables, try those first. Here you have five variables. It is definitely a time consuming one. But the thing is, when it comes to mains examination, we can, uh, we, we, we have to expect such questions. If you guys are still trying, you will have to manage with this um, screen. So let me start. What is given here? Study the following information carefully and answer the question below. Nine people uh, are staying in a building. Each person lives on a floor and every floor has two types of houses, 2 BHK and 3 BHK. Four of them live in 3 BHK and the remaining persons live in 2 BHK. All of them belong to different cities as follows and like different colors. Ground floor is numbered 1, 2 and the topmost floor is 9. So what are the floor numbers? 9, 
एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन वन देर इज वन फ्लोर बिटवीन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सेज देर इज वन फ्लोर बिटवीन कमल हू लाइक्स ग्रे कलर एंड नमन स्टे Rupesh who likes blue stays on a floor immediately above Mohan who likes green. Uh, neither of them stay at the seventh floor. Okay, so um, so there is Rupesh. So I am going to try using this. Okay, Rupesh who likes because I am not able to fix Kamal and Naman anywhere. So for now, let me not use that. Okay, so uh, Rupesh likes blue, and Mohan likes. green so rupesh lives just above mohan immediately above mohan so mohan likes green and neither of them are on the seventh floor so neither of them are not on the seventh floor means rupesh cannot rupesh and mohan can't come here or rupesh and mohan can't come here so uh, where can they be anyway let us read further information and then try to fix them then what else is given mehul stays on the second floor and belongs to mumbai so mehul stays on the second floor belongs to mumbai then um, there are two floors between um, wait wait uh, just if you skim through let us see if we are getting some information the one who belongs to kanpur stays on the third floor but not in a 3 bhk house the one who belongs to kanpur stays on the third floor but not in a 3 bhk means this person lives in a 2 bhk house okay not 3 bhk means obviously 2 bhk na then uh, the one who belongs to mysore lives on the top most floor likes orange color so the one who belongs to mysore lives in the top most floor likes orange color okay uh the person uh, okay so the one who belongs to mysore stays on the top most floor and likes orange color uh then what else is given i'm just uh, i'm just skimming through the given information to see if there is anything that i can place okay uh, neither priyank nor chennai aman does not belong to mysore rex etc the one who the one who belongs to indore stays on the fourth floor but not in a 2 bhk house so the one who belongs to indoor stays on the fourth floor but not in a 2 bhk means this person is living in a 3 bhk house okay now i have rupesh and mohan see rupesh and mohan have to come together and rupesh likes blue mohan likes green can i place rupesh and mohan here i cannot see i cannot place them in nine because rupesh likes blue color ninth floor has a person who likes orange color i cannot place them here because uh, again it is given that they cannot be on the seventh floor okay similarly they cannot be here so where are the other places where i can keep them either i can keep rupesh and mohan here or here they have to be adjacent to each other so one possibility is this is rupesh and this is mohan correct now the other possibility is this is rupesh and this is mohan those are the only two possibilities i have so we have to try out these two possibilities okay so this is one possibility where i am placing rupesh and mohan here the other possibility is i have to write it down here because there is no space otherwise 3 2 1 okay other possibility is this is mehul from mumbai and uh, this has to be rupesh and mohan okay this you know is kanpur and this is 2 bhk this you know is indoor and this is 3 bhk and you already know that rupesh likes which color it was given na rupesh uh, likes blue rupesh likes blue mohan likes green so this is blue green and this was mysore we don't know what bhk but orange so this information we have so you have two possibilities here then um, what else is given next whom do we place mm, there are there is one floor between kamal who likes grey and where naman stays neither priyank nor uh, aman belongs to chennai aman does not belong to mysore and likes red color uh, there are two floors between people who stay in pune and delhi there are three floors on which aman who lives 
in a 3 BHK and Nam and stay. Okay. See, look at this information. There are three floors on which Aman who lives in a 3 BHK and Naman stay. So, who neither belong to Kanpur nor Delhi and does not like pink color. Okay. Look at this information. The person who belongs to Chennai and Mysore lives in the same type of house but not 2 BHK. So, the person who belongs to Mysore lives in a 3 BHK. Correct. Person who lives in Mysore and Chennai belong to a 3 BHK. That's what they are saying. Uh, then, uh, let us try this. Uh, three floors between Aman and Naman. Okay. So, Aman is there. Aman or Naman. Whichever one. 1, 2, 3. Okay. The other one will again be Naman or Aman. So, where can I place them? Let us try to place them now. Okay. So, uh, if this was the case, where can Aman and Naman come? See, can Aman come here? No, because Aman likes red. So, can Naman come here? We will try out all the possible cases. Okay. I am trying to put Naman here. Okay. If I put Naman here, if I put Naman here, 1, 2, 3, which has to be Aman? This has to be Aman. Now, what else is given? Uh, neither Priyank nor Aman belongs to Chennai. Aman does not belong to Mysore. There are two floors between, okay, um, after that again, uh, Aman and uh, Naman, uh, who neither belong to Kanpur. See, there are three floors between Aman who lives in 3 BHK and Naman stay. Uh, who neither belong to Kanpur nor Delhi and likes pink color. So, what does that mean? Naman basically likes pink color. So, can I put Naman here and Aman here? Not possible because Naman likes pink color. So, Naman can't come here. Is Can I put them here somewhere? Not possible again. Right? If I put here, after three spaces, the other person should come. Not possible. So, if we are, if we are going with the first case, Naman and Aman will come here only. Right? See, Naman or Aman. Similarly, here. Right? Naman or Aman. They have to come here because three spaces in between only place possible is here. If I couldn't place them here because Naman likes pink and Naman likes red. Can't satisfy that. So, they have to come here only. Now, which will come where? Again, for that, if you see there was a first uh, statement that was given. There is one floor between Kamal who likes grey and Naman. So, one floor between Kamal and uh, Naman means this has to be Naman. If Naman is here, where will Kamal come? No place to keep Kamal. Right? So, obviously, this has to be Aman. This has to be Aman who likes the red color and this has to be Naman who, like, who likes the pink color. And so, which will be Kamal? This will be Kamal. Okay, Kamal, sorry. Kamal likes which color? Kamal likes gray color. So, this has to be the pattern. Then, what else is there? Um, there are two floors between the people who stay in Pune and Delhi. So again Pune and Delhi, where will it come? See only place where Pune, Pune and Delhi can come is here, right? Pune or Delhi, similarly two spaces in between, this has to be Pune or Delhi. Because everywhere else, two spaces in between, nowhere else it is possible. So either it has to be here or here, it has to be only in this position. So if this was the case, that will be Pune and Delhi. Then again we have to finalize which will be where but we will wait for that. Mm, then what else is there? There is one floor between the person who likes grey and Naman stay. Uh, Rupesh likes blue. Neither Priyank nor Aman belong to Chennai. So uh, Aman doesn't belong to Chennai. We don't know which is Priyank to say he doesn't belong to Chennai. Let's wait. Um, Aman does not belong to Mysore. Okay, that we know already and likes red color. There are two floors between the people who stay in Pune and Delhi. So, we have finalized that. There are three floors between Aman who lives in Namaste who neither belong to... De uh, see, look at this statement here. There are three floors between Aman who lives in 3 BHK. So, Aman lives in a 3 BHK. Okay, and uh, Naman stay who neither belongs to Kanpur nor Delhi and likes pink color. So, uh, Naman neither belongs to Delhi or Kanpur and likes pink color. So, Naman obviously have to be Pune, okay, because Naman can't be Delhi, it is very clearly given. So, this has to be Delhi. So, that is also fixed. So, this is used. The person who belongs to Chennai and Mysore live in the same type of house, but not in a 
2 BHK. Okay. We don't know where Chennai is. Let's wait for that. Um, Priyank stays in a 2 BHK house on an even numbered floor below the floor on which Amrit Amit stays who like purple color. So if you look at the colors, okay, which are the colors that we are pending with? See, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here one color and here one color we have to fix. And it is said that um, Priyank stays in a 2 BHK house on an even numbered floor. Below the floor on which Amit stays who like purple color. So which are the even numbers floor that are pending? 6 and 8 are pending. Okay. And it is given that Priyank likes which color? Priyank likes purple color. And Priyank is staying on an even numbered floor below Amit and Amit likes purple color right so obviously which has to be Amit this has to be Amit because Amit likes purple color so Amit cannot be in the floor number 9 because floor number 9 there is only one person who likes orange so Amit has to be the one who likes purple color and Priyank stays below Amit in an even numbered floor so this has to be Priyank correct this has to be Priyank um, that's Priyank stays in a 2 BHK house on an even numbered floor below the floor on which Amit stays who like purple. See, it's not given immediately below, correct? So, uh, this can be Priyank, correct? Then, um, the person who is staying is in Delhi is not staying in a 3 BHK. So, the person who is staying in Delhi is staying in a 2 BHK. So, that is 2. And then, um, the person, so now, which are the places that we are left with? We are left with Chennai, Bhopal and Nagpur. Three places we are left with. Now what information is given about Chennai? The person who belongs to Chennai and Mysore live in the same type of house but not on a 2 BHK. If you look at 3 BHK, right? We have already fixed three people to be in 3 BHK. So there are four people who stay in 3 BHK. Now let us try. See, Priyank or Aman does not belong to Chennai. So, Aman can't be Chennai. Priyank also can't be Chennai. So, who has to be Chennai? Kamal has to be Chennai. And it was given that the person who stays in Chennai and Mysore lives in 3 BHK. Where was it given? Uh, the person who belongs to Chennai and Mysore live in 3 BHK. So, this has to be 3. So, everything else will be 2 because we know there are 4 3 BHKs remaining were 2 BHK. Correct? This is 2 BHK. This is 2 BHK and so on. So, this is Chennai and then now we are left with Nagpur and Bhopal. The person who belongs to Nagpur does not live above Bhopal. So, this has to be, does, sorry, does not live below. Does, the person who belongs to Nagpur does not live below the person who belongs to Bhopal. So, this has to be Bhopal and this has to be Nagpur. And when you look at the people, uh, you have fixed Aman, Mo, uh, Aman, Mehul, Mohan. Whom are we left with here? Who will come here? Last person. Mm -hmm. Look at the names given. Srajan. Srajan will come. So this arrangement seems to be correct. But there was one more case. Right? Again, okay, what color will come here? This has to be Nagpur. Okay, color we are left with one more. See, it was given that Priyank can't be yellow. Correct? Priyank does not like yellow. So this has to be yellow and this has to be white. So, this arrangement seems to be correct but again we have to find out why this is going wrong. In the examination, if luckily you are starting with this case, well and good, you will get the answer immediately but if you start with this, you have to prove this is wrong and then go there. Okay. So, shall we try this also out since we are doing it in the session? Let us try and understand why this is wrong. So, here Mehul is in the examination. If you are getting this as the answer, just mark that as the answer. Go ahead. Don't waste your time trying out the second case. Not required at all. You have anyway got the answer. Why are you bothered? Okay. So, if you are uh, looking at this case, what will happen here? This is Mohan. This is Rupesh. And then who are we? Whom should we start with? Now, whom should we do? Now, we have to place like how here we placed Aman and Naman. Where can we place Aman and Naman here? Okay, Aman or Naman cannot come here, right? Uh, there has to be three people between them. So, can I place um, Aman and Naman somewhere here? Here also, no, three people, I don't have space, correct? I can place one of them here, right? This can be Aman or Naman and the other person can be here, right? Aman or Naman and this can be Aman or Naman. Correct. Uh, now, if I place this as uh, Naman, let us say I am assuming, okay. If I am placing this as Naman, 
what will happen is I know that between Kamal and Naman there is one floor and Kamal likes grey. Where can I place Kamal? I cannot place Kamal. So obviously if this was the case, this has to be Aman and this has to be Naman. And if this was Naman, which has to be Kamal? This has to be Kamal, correct? If this was Aman, 1, 2, 3, this was Naman. Okay, and this has to be Kamal. And Kamal likes which color? Kamal likes uh, grey color as per what is given. Right? There is one floor between uh, Kamal who likes grey color and Naman stay. And here Naman is staying in a second floor according to what is given. Okay, let us wait uh, to use that. So you have Aman here and Aman likes which color? Aman likes red color. Now, uh, what else is there for us to place? Mysore 3 orange. So, uh, I am putting three floors between them. Uh, there are two floors between Mehul stays in second floor. There are two floors. Uh, there are two floors uh, between the floor on which Aman lives. Three floors, sorry. And uh, Naman stay. See here, look at here. And Naman stay who neither belongs to Kanpur nor Delhi. Here I am getting Naman is in Kanpur. Is that possible? Not possible. So this goes wrong. Okay. So this has to be your final arrangement. You um, in examination, like I said, it is just a sheer luck, which is the sometimes many times try to do both simultaneously, right? Both the cases simultaneously. Keep fixing. Uh, that that is also uh, time saving. Uh, but uh, if there are too many variables involved, the only thing is that you might get confused. So here, since I am explaining, I wanted it to be clear to all of you. So I took one case in the beginning, the second case next. So while in the examination, you can try out both the cases simultaneously and fix as you solve. Um, only thing don't get confused when you do that you can very clearly see that one case is going wrong so we have to go with the other one okay so this is your correct answer now let's look at the questions that follow first question who among the following stays on the topmost floor so who stays on the topmost floor none of these right s rajan s srajan says on the srajan says on the topmost floor next one which of the following is false as per the given information Amit stays on a floor immediately below the floor on which Shrajan stays. Yes, Amit stays on a floor immediately below the floor on which Shrajan stays. This is true. Kamal stays on the seventh floor. Is Kamal staying on seventh floor? Yes, that is also true. Naman stays on a floor immediately above the floor on which Priyank stays. Naman stays on a floor immediately above. No, Naman stays on a floor immediately below the floor on which Priyank stays. So, this is your false option. Rupesh belongs to indoor which is true here, right? Rupesh belongs to indoor, that is true. So which was the odd one out here or the false one? False as per given information is option 3. Which of the following is related to Priyank? What is related to Priyank? Priyank likes white, no? Priyank Nagpur white. So answer will be option 4. How many floors are there between the floor on which Mohan stays and the floor on which Aman stays? So how many floors are there between the floor on which Mohan and Aman stays? Mohan, Aman. There is one floor in between Mohan and Aman. Answer is one. Who likes yellow color? Who likes yellow? Mehul likes yellow color. Okay? Yeah. So I hope this uh, set is clear to all of you. Let's move on to the next so the next uh, set of questions is on coding decoding so study the given information and answer the following questions uh, in a certain code language higher we goes money is written as follows umbrella kite satellite is written as follows john belongs to pakistan is written as follows sweet are necessary health is written as follows what is the code for kind workers in the given code language. See, whenever you have coding decoding questions like this, uh, at times you might not be able to decode all the parts. Like, see here in a code, there are two, num uh, two letters, one number and one symbol. Might be we will not be able to uh, find out what each represents, right? What is the, how is the code for the letters arrived at? How is the code for the numbers arrived at? How is the code for the symbol arrived at? It is not necessary that you have to find out everything in the examination. Might be even if you are able to find out one or two of them, using that you will be able to arrive at the 
answer. So now look at this question that is there on your screen and see how these codes are arrived at. Okay, and tell me the logic if you are able to find it out. So what is the logic? Uh, did you were you able to find out any one logic? What is the logic behind the number used or the letters? See number. I think number is the uh, easiest one to identify here. You have higher here. How many letters are there in this word higher? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two letters in V. Four letters in Go. Money five. If you see here, you have this five, two, four, and six. All these are there. Correct. So basically, the numbers are representing the number of letters in a given word. Okay. So what do I understand here? V is represented as B Y two at the rate. Correct. Similarly, I can say goes is represented as D W four dollar. Okay. Now. Uh, that is the first thing. Now, using this alone, let us see if you are able to get the answer. What is the code for kind workers? So, kind is a four letter word. So, in the code, the number four should be there. For workers, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lettered word. So, the code should have seven in it. Now, if you look at the first code, right, you have B4 star, four and three. This cannot be your answer. Seven and four. Seems possible, right? 7 and 4 have to be there in the quotes. That much you know. 6 and 4, no. 7 and 4, again comes here, okay. 4 and 4, not possible. So, already you have eliminated 3 options and you are left only with 2 options, okay. So, now you have to find out which of this is the answer. Now, how do I find that out? You have to decode one more information, either the symbol or the letter, okay. Now, let us look at if there is some similar, uh, similarity between the symbols see what are the symbols used here percentage at the rate of dollar and this symbol now is there a percentage anywhere else see percentage is coming here right at the rate of is coming here and dollar dollar is coming here one thing that you notice here very clearly is that whenever five is coming percentage is there whenever four is coming dollar is there Similarly, whenever 6 is coming, this symbol is there. So, basically what are we doing for, uh, for let us say for 2 letter words, there is a particular symbol used. For 3 letter words, there is a particular symbol used. For 4 letter words, there is a particular symbol used. So, whenever 4 comes, what should come? Dollar should come. And whenever 7 comes, what should come? And should come. So, again now look at the options. Obviously, option 2 has to be your answer. So, here if you see, very clearly by we have not decoded the full information but based on whatever is there uh, like we decoded two things right we decoded the number coding we found out what is the number coding and the symbol coding and with that we could arrive at the answer correct yes let's move on to the next question from this set what may be the possible code for student school so student school see also remember in the previous question there were none of these options was not even there so very easily we could arrive at option 2 but here none of these option is also there so we are not also very sure the answer can also very well be none of these so when such questions are there might be we will have to uh, know the complete uh, what is the coding that has been followed okay so initially what do you do none of these uh, so sorry student school correct 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So again 7 letters here. So 7 will follow, 7 will be followed by and. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What will 6 be followed? 6 will be followed by this symbol. Okay. So look at the options that is given here. Again there are, uh, to our luck, there are no options which has 7 and 6. No options are there. All these are going to be wrong. Obviously, your answer is going to be none of this. I was initially worried because none of this is there. Let us say there was an option having 7 and and 6, the symbol, okay. Still, whatever comes here could have been different, right. It could have gone wrong. So, I was worried like that. But here the options are given in such a way that all the options are anyway going wrong. So, your answer is going to be none of these, okay. Moving on. Next question. What may be the possible code for do your job in the given code language. 
do your job do is two you your is four and job is three so two will always be followed by at the rate of four will always be followed by dollar and three will always be followed by hash look for such options here you have six two four not correct seven four six not correct five eight six not correct two four three this has to be the correct one again there is also a none of these options so now let us now let us think what could be the letter coding here what is the letter coding that has been followed see what did we find out earlier v was coded as b y 2 at the rate of okay then um, goes was coded as d w 4 dollar right um, see is there similarly if you see here okay belongs is coded as g t 7 at the rate of yes so basically one thing that i can observe here is 2 is coming here and what are the numbers here b and y can you think of any relationship between b y g t or d w right when you are writing the uh, alphabets right in the reverse order opposite of b will be y correct opposite of d will be w opposite of g will be t so that is what is given here correct now the number how does the number significance come here 2 2 is there correct when 2 is there 2 from front in the alphabetical order is b 2 from back reverse in the alphabetical order is y when you have 4 2 the 4 from front or in the forward order of alphabetical order is d 4 from the reverse order is w similarly 7 7 from the forward order is g 7 from the reverse order is t so that is what they have given here so same logic has to be followed here so here when you have 2 it has to be b y when you have 4 it has to be d w when you have 3 it has to be c x so obviously this is going to be your correct answer so for this question knowing this logic is also helpful correct to get the answer but in the examination if you are not able to uh, get this logic and you don't have time the best thing is to mark option 4 as your answer and move on next question but that's a chance that you are taking uh, but this is easy you know look at these alphabets there is some similarity between them we are able to find it out okay next what is the code for money required in the given code language so money required what will be the answer here 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 5 what will 5 follow with 5 will follow by percentage so this has to be ev so it's basically a standard code for any five letter word right that is another thing that you can uh, like you can make out okay see wherever you have a five letter word this code is coming wherever you have a six letter word this code is coming so if you understand that then it is again far more easier to solve correct wherever there is a four letter word this code is coming so here i i have a five letter word and a eight letter word so what will be my code it has to be ev5 percentage and hs uh, eight star that will be option one next question what is this code for school? I think we already found out school, right? School is uh, how many letter word? Six letter word. So when you have a six letter word, the code should be this. See, it's basically this. There is actually only one coding that has been followed. Whenever there is a six letter word, the code has to be this. Whenever there is a two letter word, the code has to be this. Whenever there is a five letter word, the code has to be this. Yes? what they have done is uh, for looking at the number of letters in a word a particular symbol has been used for that okay they have actually looked at the number of letters in a word and based on that one code with uh, numbers letters and symbol is given for that some particular logic internally is used but actually if you understand this that internal logic is not even required next so again uh, next question is on arrangements so what is given here 10 people are sitting in two parallel lines containing five in each so there are uh, two rows row one and row two some of them are the row one is facing south and the others are facing north and they like different suites so based on that you have to arrange them so this is a question on linear arrangement uh, take the next two or three minutes 
try to get the arrangement and then I will start solving it. What is given? 10 people are sitting in two parallel lines, lines containing 5 in each. Uh, there were two rows, this row facing down and this row facing up and what is given here? Uh, there are uh, two people sit between W, okay, which was the one we started with. See, you have, okay, L, M, N, O, P will come here, V, W, X, Y, Z will come here on the second row. And then it was given that the, uh, what was the information we started with? P, this one, right? P sits third to the left of the person who likes Rasagulla. So, there is a person who likes Rasagulla. So, this is, if this is the person who likes Rasagulla, P sits third to the left. So, one left side of this person, they are facing down, right? P and all is facing down, facing southwards. So, left is going to be this direction. So, one, two, three. So, P sits third to the left of the person who likes Rasagulla. So, obviously, I know there are four people facing them here. Now, the fifth person can either be here or on this side. We don't know. So, that again, that will give rise to two possibilities, right? So, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is P, I know for sure. This is the person who likes Rasagulla. And um, either the uh, other people will come here or they have to be here. Right? This is going to be the case. Now, let us read further. Uh, what is given? L and N are immediate neighbors, but neither L nor N likes Rasagulla. So, L and N can't come here. L or N, whichever way they can't come because they don't like Rasagulla. And L and N are also neighbors. So, where should L and N come? They have to be here. L and N are neighbors and they like Rasagulla. They don't like Rasagulla, I'm sorry. So, L and N has to definitely be here. In this case also, L and N have to be here. Okay, yeah. So, L and N are immediate neighbors, but neither L nor N likes Rasgulla. The person uh, who likes Rabri faces the person who is third to the right of V. P does not like Rabri. Uh, y is second to the left of Z who likes uh, Imrati. Imrati. Y does not face the person who likes Rasgulla. Wait, let us see if there is any more information that we can use. Look at this information. O does not like Rabri but is an immediate neighbor of N. So, O is an immediate neighbor of N. So, let us look at the first case. If this was L and this was N, where will O come? O has to be an immediate neighbor of N which is not possible in this case. So, obviously, this has to be N and this has to be L. So, this will be O. Similarly, here this has to be L and this has to be N and this will be O. So, what will this be? This has to be M. So, we have got one row complete now. Next, now what is said? Um, now, let us look at the second row. So, the person who likes Rabri faces the person who is third to the right of V. Person who likes Rabri faces the person who is third to the right of V. Y is second to the left of Z and Y does not face the person who likes Rasgulla. So, Y cannot come here, right? Now, it is given Y is second to the left of Z. So, if this was Z, this is Y, which is not possible because they are very clearly given Y does not uh, face Rasgulla. So, this can be Y and this can be Z or this can be Y and this can be Z, okay? See, it is given Y is second to the left of the Z who likes Imarti. And then it is also given, uh, is there any other information given for us to freeze which is Y and which is Z? It is very clearly given Z does not face P. So, this possibility is also gone. See, there were two possibilities to place Y and Z. Either Y and Z can come here or here. But they have given Z does not face P. So, which is Y and which is Z? This is Y and this is Z. So, similarly in this case, if this was the case, where can Y and Z be? See, this cannot be Y because they had given uh, y does not face Rasgulla, right? So, in this case, this has to be Y and Z or this cannot be Y and Z or again Y and Z can be, it can't come here also, right? See, Y and Z can come here. If it was here, then Y will face Rasgulla, not possible. If this was Y and this was Z, then uh, Y will, uh, P will face Z, which is also not possible. So, if this is the case, this has to be Y and this has to be Z. 
okay then moving on why does not uh, like the person face the person who likes rasgulla then the person who likes gaver and jalebi face each other now we have not used that yet the person who likes Sa sandesh faces the person who is second to the left of the person who likes rasgulla so the person who likes sandesh faces the person who is second to the left of the person who likes rasgulla so if this is rasgulla second to the left is this so this has to be sandesh correct the person who likes sandesh faces the person who is second to the left of rasgulla so in this case this is sandesh this person why okay here this is sandesh then person who likes rasagulla then next they are talking about w right what have they said uh, w uh, two people sit between w and the person who likes halwa so where can w and halwa be two people sit between w and the person who likes halwa so one of this has to be w and one of this has to be halwa again we don't know which is w and which is halwa okay uh, then what else is given See, we already know uh, Z, right? See, about Z, they have already said that Z likes Imarti. So, let me just write that down also here. Z likes Imarti. So, here also I am writing Imarti. Then, they have, uh, they have said that there is only one person who sits between... Uh, see, look at this. Only one person sits between the person who likes Barfi and the person who likes Sandesh. So, if this is Sandesh, then this has to be... Barfi. Here it is already Imarti that you know. Now if this is Barfi then which has to be Halwa. See when we were trying to place W and Halwa we know that there are two people between W and Halwa. The confusion was that we had was where to put W and where to put Halwa. Now here this is Barfi means then obviously this has to be W and this has to be Halwa. Right? The one in between has to be Halwa. So that is also fixed. Now same thing let us do it on this is Imarti and uh, there is um, one person uh, between Sandesh and Barfi. So, if this is Sandesh, then this has to be Barfi. Now, if this was the case, then which will be W and which will be Halwa? Uh, again, let us wait for that. There are more possibilities here, right? You need Halwa. Yeah, okay. See, if you put Halwa here, 1, 2, this can be W, correct? Or if you put uh, W here, this can be Halwa. Again, you are left with two possibilities let us wait for that then to put that there in that option then um, so this is w y and z now the person who likes rabri faces the person who is third to the right of v so can this be v no that can't be v third to the right of v there has to be a person so obviously this has to be v correct this has to be v so this has to be z the person who likes rabri faces the person who is third to the right of v so this is v this is z so this has to be rabri okay similarly if you are looking at this case which has to be v obviously this has to be v because again third to the right of v means only this can come right this can be the only option so if this is v this is z third to the right of v 1 2 3 the person uh, who likes Rabri faces the person who is third to the right of V. So, this has to be Rabri and uh, P does not like Rabri. Very clearly it is given. But here according to this case, I will get P is Rabri which is wrong. So, this option goes wrong. So, obviously this is going to be our correct answer. Let us continue whatever is there. So, you have W, Y, W, V, Y. So, this has to be X and uh, here you have Rasagulla, Rabri. Then what are we left with? Uh, to fill. See, the person who likes Gaver and Jalebi face each other. So, where can Gaver and Jalebi come? They have to come here because only vacant from both sides is here, right? And it is also said that the person uh, who likes Jalebi is facing north. So, obviously, this has to be Jalebi and this has to be Gaver. This has to be Gaver. So, if this is also fixed, then next, L does not like Peta. So, P has to like Peta. So, L will like here so this will be your final arrangement here okay w barfi v jalebi y sandesh x halwa and z imarti o uh, rasagulla n gaver l khir p peta and m rabri now let's look at the questions that follow how many persons sit between n and the person who likes khir n is here khir is here nobody is sitting between them answer will be none which one is opposite to 
O. So which one is opposite to O? Opposite to O is W. Which of the following pairs sit diagonally opposite to each other? So who are the ones sitting diagonally opposite? W, M and O, Z. Which is the option given? W, O, Z, right? Z, O. W, M, not W, O. The person who is second to the left of X likes which of the following sweets? Second to the left of X means 1, 2, Jalebi. What is the position of the person who likes Imar T with respect to the uh, person who likes Sandesh? So, Sandesh is here, Imar T is here. Uh, position is, what is the position? Second to the right. What is the position of Imar T with respect to Sandesh? So, second to the right. Option 4 is your answer. Done? Moving on, next question. The next question is on coded inequalities. What is given? Uh, given statements, see which of the conclusions follow. Very, very easy question. Just by looking at the question, you should be able to give me the answer for this. So, basically what should you do here? Given statement is G greater than Z greater than H, Y greater than V, greater than or equal to Z less than O. The first conclusion says G is greater than Y. So, here, see, what do I know? I know G is greater than Z. I also know Y is greater than Z. Right? If I combine these, uh, if I look at these two statements, Z, Z is the common one in both. Correct? So, I know Y is greater than Z. I know G is greater than Z. But can I compare G and Y? I cannot based on the given information. So, the first conclusion is wrong. Does not follow. Look at the second conclusion. I have to compare O and G. Again, if you look at the first and the second statement, the common uh, thing is Z. What do I know? I know O is greater than Z from here. I know G is greater than Z. But can I compare O and G? I cannot. So, what will be the answer here? Both the conclusions don't follow. Neither conclusion 1 nor 2 is true. Yes. Next one. I am just taking uh, you through these questions a bit fast because these are very easy ones. You don't have to spend uh, too much time on such questions. Okay. Now, next one. Here, I have to find out the relationship between C and I. Now, if you look at these statements, what is common? T is common, right? See, what do I know? I know C is greater than T and I also know T is greater than or equal to I. So, I have to, what is the relationship between C and I? C greater than T greater than or equal to I. If I combine, this is what I get, right? Relationship between C and I or what can I say? I can say C is greater than I. So, definitely the first conclusion follows. Now, next conclusion is to find the relationship between P and K. See, using this, uh, this part, you know P is greater than uh, T and here you know T is greater than, you know P is greater than T and here you know T is greater than K. Now, if I combine, what do I get? I get P greater than T greater than K or I can say P is greater than K. So, very clearly I know P is not greater than or equal to K. So, again this conclusion does not follow, right? I know for sure P is greater than K. So, what is the answer here? Only conclusion 1 follows. Conclusion 2 is not true because I know P is greater than K and not greater than or equal to. So, only conclusion 2 follows. There is option, sorry, only conclusion 1 follows. So, the answer will be option 5. Conclusion 2 does not follow. Option 5. Next. G greater than Z greater than H y greater than v greater than or equal to z less than o. So, you have to find out the relationship between y and h here. Uh, so, y is here. See, common again common term is z. So, I have y greater than z and I also have z is greater than h. So, if I combine these two, I can say y greater than z greater than h or y is greater than h. So, the first conclusion follows. Second conclusion, uh, I have to find the relationship between o and H, right? See, I know O is greater than Z. I also know Z is greater than H or I can say O is greater than Z is greater than H or O is greater than H also follows. So, the second conclusion also follows here. So, what will be the answer for this one? Both conclusions 1 and 2 are true. Next one. Uh, the next question is on data sufficiency. So, again this question, what are they asking? They have given about floors, people living in different floors in a building. So, you have 
फाइव पीपल पी क्यू आर एस एंड टी आर लिविंग इन डिफरेंट फ्लोर ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग द ग्रउंड फ्लोर इज नंबर्ड वन एंड सो ऑन एंड द टाप मोस्ट फ्लोर इज नंबर्ड फाइव बट नॉट नेसेसरली इन द सेम ऑर्डर ऑन विच फ्लोर डस पी लिव यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट वेयर डस पी लिव सो यू हैव टू स्टेटमेंट्स हियर लेट एस सी विच स्टेटमेंट इज एबल टू गिव एस द आंसर नाउ वॉट डज द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट से वन फ्लोर इज देयर बिटवीन एस एंड आर Two floors are there between Q and R. Neither R nor S live at an odd-numbered floor. Neither P nor Q lives in the lowermost floor. So, how many floors are there? One, two, three, four, five floors are there. Now, neither S nor R live at an odd-numbered floor, and there is one floor between S and R. So, what are the two possibilities? That this can be R and this can be S, or this can be S and this can be r correct one floor is there between s and r there are two floors between q and r so if this was the case where will q be this has to be q if this was the case this has to be q neither r or nor s live at an odd numbered floor neither p nor q live in the lowermost floor so p cannot q cannot come in the lowermost floor so this is wrong so again p ka so this is the correct arrangement right here q is coming in the fifth floor and now that i already know uh, p and q cannot be in the lowermost floor this has to be p and so this will be t so using statement 1 alone i am able to say in which floor does p live p lives on the third floor so using statement 1 alone i am able to get the answer now let's look at statement 2 and see if you are able to get the answer using statement 2 now what is given in statement 2 you have 1 2 3 4 5 5 five floors t lives at one odd numbered floors okay i don't know which odd number means t can be either 1 3 or 5 i am not able to fix it for now uh, no two persons live between uh, no people live between r and t two people live between t and s so t can either be here or here or in the center odd number right but it is given that two people live between t and s so t obviously cannot be in the third floor if t is in the third floor where can i place s i don't have a place to keep s so if this is t this is s if this is t this is s now no people live between r and t so this can be r this can be r in this case only one floor is there between q and p so where can q and p come see q p can be here right q p here or here now which is the exact floor of p can i find out i cannot find out the exact floor of p using the second statement so only using statement 1 i am able to get the answer so your answer will be if data in statement 1 alone is sufficient to arrive at the answer the correct answer here will be option 1 is it clear option 1 is your answer if data in statement 1 alone is enough to arrive at the answer clear shall i move on to the next question okay moving on to the next question again question on data sufficiency who is the second tallest person among u v w x y and z only one person is shorter than u uh, first statement says okay one person is shorter than u so how many people are there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you arrange them in the increasing order what do i know only one person is shorter than you so where will you come you only one correct you have to find out who is the tallest only one person is shorter than you means everybody else is taller than you w is taller than x but shorter than z so w is taller than x but shorter than z y is or basically i can say z is taller than w and x right z is taller than w and x and it is also given i also know that w is taller than x um and it's also given y is taller than v and z y is taller than v and z so um i or i can say y is taller than v z w and x uh, v is neither the shortest nor the second tallest person okay so see here what can i say i can say that y is taller than v z w x and u so who has to be the tallest in this case y has to be the tallest for sure now i know z is taller than w and x and it is also given v is 
neither the shortest nor the second tallest person. So we cannot come here or we cannot come here. So where will we be? V has to be here or here. Correct? V has to be in these two, any, any of these two places. Now what else do I know? I know Z is taller than W and X. Right? Z is taller than W and X. So where will Z come? See, one of this place is occupied by V. Let me say this place is occupied by V. W and X. Z is definitely taller than W and X. So W and X has to come here or here. Or similarly, if I put V here, correct? W and X will come here. Whichever way, yeah, like this, W, X, right? Either it will be V, W, X like this or it will be W, V, X. Whatever be the way, very clearly I can see that V, W and X will take these three places. So what should come here? It has to be Z because Z is definitely greater than W and X. And what is the question? Who is the second tallest person? The second tallest person using the statement one is Z. So this, this part of the arrangement we are not clear but we found out the second uh, tallest one is Z. So using statement 1, you are able to arrive at the answer. Now, let us look at statement 2. What does statement 2 say? V is not the tallest person. U is taller than X but shorter than Z. Only two people are shorter than W. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only two people are shorter than W means this is W. And uh, Z is greater than U is greater than X. Both V and Z are taller than W. So V and Z will come somewhere here, right? V and Z will come here. I don't know where V and Z can come in any of these three places. And you know U is greater than, uh, Z is greater than U is greater than X. Again, it is given V is not the tallest person. So V cannot come there. Z can come in any of these three places. Right? Yeah, see both V and Z are taller than W. So Z can come in any of these three places. V can come in any of these two places. Only two people are shorter than W. U is taller than X but shorter than Z. So based on where Z come, you can come. So basically you are not getting an arrangement exact order to say who will be the second tallest. So using this statement, you cannot find out who is the second tallest. So what is the answer here? Only statement 1 is enough to arrive at the answer. So what will be your answer? Your correct answer will be option 1. Data in statement 1 alone is enough to arrive at the answer. So with that, uh, we are coming to an end of the questions chosen for the session. Uh, any doubts in any of the questions that we solved or uh, anything that you would like to tell me? So I hope all these sessions that we organize are useful to you. In case you have missed out any of the previous sessions, uh, please do refer back to the archives. Uh, it is avail the videos are available in our channel. So go through the sessions to make maximum use of it and try to solve the questions. If you are uh, viewing past sessions also, try to solve the questions as and when you watch it. It is very, very important to practice. In quants and reasoning, the only way that you can get good score is to practice as many questions as possible. So just by looking at videos or listening to me talk, it won't work. You have to solve and only it is useful. So uh, that is it from us for now and uh, I will see you all in the next session. Uh, take care, study well. So last few days very very important for your preparation. So try solving as many questions as possible, revise all the concepts that you have learned and all the very best with your preparation and I will see you in the next session. This is Gayatri signing off till then. Take care. Good night.